Yes, survivors are pointing the finger at Archbishop Lori, and they say it's time for him to go. You turned away. You chose to fall silent, and you chose to protect your criminals. But the mighty army I represent here today is relentless. We will not go away, sit down, or shut up. And most of us believe, sir, that you need to resign. Gemma Hoskins is a former student at Archbishop Keogh High School, where sexual abuse was rampant. She took part in the Netflix documentary, The Keepers, which focused on the murder of Sister Kathy Sesnick in 1969 and sex abuse at the school. Lawyers for survivors of sexual abuse in the church want the AG's report to be made public. Survivors of these crimes, including Donna and others, cooperated with the AG and recounted the horrors of their past. As the release of the 456 page investigation is being considered by the courts, these brave individuals, together with our client advocates, now seek transparency. They want the report released for themselves and all survivors. The Archdiocese of Baltimore is helping pay legal fees for a group trying to keep their names, which are in the report, from being made public. For now, it will remain sealed. The judge noting much of the material came from a grand jury. The Archdiocese says it does not object to the release of the report, which it says accurately details the heinous crime and sin of child sexual abuse perpetrated by members of the clergy. We'll be filing a motion to intervene so that we'll become parties to the proceedings and then once granted standing within the proceedings, we are going to seek to have the report released. A judge um, who ordered the seal, the judge ordered this, the report sealed and the same judge has to make an, make an order to have it released. Reporting live, Lisa Robinson, WBAL TV 11 News.